Hello everybody, this is Game Show here and welcome back to part 10 of our Metro 2033 Redux Let's Play. I know this isn't exactly where we left off, so let me tell you why I'm here. I recorded part 10 earlier today, and then I accidentally deleted the save. So I couldn't get back to where I was without restarting the level before this, and that would mean I would have to blow up everything again, I just didn't feel like doing that. Or just restart here where I didn't make any progress yet. So basically all that happened was Khan said we have to uh, part ways now and he led me to a, to a ladder that led me through that hole and now I'm here. You didn't miss anything important, I swear to you. So, with that in mind, let's get back into this. Let's go. Yeah, I can't believe I accidentally, I accidentally hit like record again before I, uh, what am I doing? You can hit triangle to switch the weapons. I did not know that. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, I can't believe I, oh, I actually hit real good. Stand still. Hey, loosen up. It's a human. I gotta put this hand up right now. Already. Well, you look human. <laughs> That's all that counts. Come in. This is a free station. Thanks, man. Boop, 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 boop. Careful, boop, kid. Boop. Our free station is under the watchful eye of the Reds. Paranoia is the new game in town, so keep yourself below the radar. You understand? Yeah, you sound very southern. Oh, also, before I forget, since you guys didn't see it, this is the note for entering this place. So, Army Station was where most of the weapons in the Metro were made. There had been an arms factory located above, and after the nukes fell, many of the workers settled here. I was looking for Andrew the Smith, but he found me first. Andrew the Smith is, uh... Khan's friend. Oh, here, let me read these notes that I found. <sighs> there are many in the Metro who hate the Reds because they are afraid of them. The Reds always go hungry, even though they work around the clock. They are told they, to they toil for a better future, but year after year, their lives get even more miserable. They fight with abandon as if not afraid of death at all, and their, co and their commanders just throw them away, piling their bodies up to block enemy gun emplacements spending their lives as if their charges were immortal. But they are immortal, and they die of exhaustion, of overworking, of bullets fired by their enemies and their own commissars ordered to shoot those retreating. They are told they are superior, that they are made of flesh, not, or that they are made of steel, not flesh, and that is why I pity them. What do they live and die for? The idols of the past are long gone, but they are kept in the dark about it. The slogans they communicate with are meaningless in the new world. They are prohibited from speaking or even thinking freely. Anyone asking questions is, de is deemed a traitor. Anyone who says life's better outside the red line is a spy and a saboteur. You have to hide everything human about you and become just like the rest of them. But there are, there are also people like Andrew the Blacksmith here. People who refuse to abandon hope and who persevere. If I were in his shoes, I'd be long gone. Why is he still here? Is he afraid of being shot making his escape? Then, I was not wrong about Andrew. I just grossly underestimated him. He is not afraid of running. He just does things that take much more guts than that. Andrew helps others escape the red line, risking his own life every minute. He and his friends save lots of refugees using a network of abandoned passages and forgotten tunnels, which the Reds are still ignorant about. The refugees usually take this little and at the same time figure the underground railroad to get from the red line to the metro proper. But for me, Andrew is working it in reverse. I need to get to the front lines of the never-ending war between the red line and the Reich. I'm taking the train which is delivering a fresh load of cannon fodder to the meat grinder. The important part is, no is to know when to jump off. So that's, those were the notes up here of Armory. Attention! Attention! Document inspection is currently being carried out at the Armory. Please stay at your registered hey, residences yeah, and assist the law enforcement personnel in their work. Be vigilant, comrades. The enemy oh, never that. sleeps. Get lost! Fine, man. No one ever wants to Please talk to, to me. The world. This is an inspection! Hey, come on! Quit harassing me! I don't swing that way! Shh! Hush! Oh, well, and who are you? Hi there. The comedian's boyfriend! Put your hands out! You're under arrest! Why? What'd I do? Alright, alright! Lay off! I'll come quietly! There's a guy behind me also. Oh, so you couldn't do that before, before they put before they put me in handcuffs. See, 
he run around. Oh, that guy, that guy was looking at me. He was not moving. Face to the wall. This is an inspection. Wait, where am I? Hey, come on. Quit harassing me. I don't swing that way. <laughs> Got the bolt yet? Prepare for a sh hush. And who are you? I... The comedian's boyfriend. Oh. Put your hands out. You're under arrest. Oh, the guy moved behind me. Alright, alright. Lay off. Ugh. I'll come quietly. Yeah, kill him, man. I'm gonna kill him. Go! Let's get them! Come on, follow me! Go, go! go. Man, if I could run, like, even as fast as you are, I'd be fine. Boom. left in our world that day he was with me i had been rescued by han's friend andrew the blacksmith he would prove to be my ticket out of the communist station but the only way goes through a goddamn battlefield the front line between the reich and the reds you'll need a disguise take these overalls put them over your clothes how is that the reds up the volunteers to storm the nazi fortifications they're about to send a train full of new recruits straight into the fire. But you will be riding the train unannounced. Your seat won't be first class, but you don't have to pay the fare with your own blood either. <laughs> Once the troop train has passed the roadblocks, you're on your own. Okay. Let's go. I'll move. Let's go. Place it to be. Oh, that guy's sleepy. It's a great uh, soundtrack. Oh, look at them. They're getting swole. And Andrew, holy crap. Kids, filters, knives, everything you need uh, when trying to dangerous eight. areas. No? Oh, one second. Yeah, move, try and buy. Uh, customize here. This. Oh, where is Seventy. Yes. I want that. Now, what else can I buy here? So I'll take two of those. And there, we got. Andrew. It's okay, guys. He's with us. Come on, jump into the hole up to him. Gotcha. Bam, I'm here. We're now. So this game, or well, the book made, or based off, or based sequel to the book that inspired this game. There you go. Hey Andrew, is it really safe in there? We wouldn't like to see him fall down onto the rails. Not that, no first class carriage. 
but he is good as dead if he stays. He'd be going straight to the Bianca, and that's a one-way ticket. I'm right here, guys. Fine, don't pay attention. Okay, pick it up. It's okay. It's all up to you now. Good luck. Goodbye, Andrew. In my place, guys. You joined the army. I followed my political beliefs. Oh, As for great. Me, I'm here for the doll. How about you? Me? Join the army, they said. See the world, they said. Huh? My father was a Red Army soldier, and his father as well. How it's long ago did the dish drop that caused the town to go under? tradition to lose arms and legs on the battlefield? They were happy to make those sacrifices. <laughs> sure. Drunks and fools are happy too. There's a black capsule in my ammo pouch. What is that? An antibiotic? No. It's cyanide, in case the enemy captures you. What? But, uh, God forbid suicide. I'd go straight to hell. Listen, altar boy. A Nazi prisoner is going to hell anyway. Trust me. The pill is faster. I could never take my own life. Then give me your pill. I'd rather swallow two than rot in one of their stomachs. Okay. Time I kill myself. Even the apocalypse didn't stop us from killing one another over ideology. I was about to go through the front line between the Nazis and the communists. I heard they once fought another war. But the Nazis lost. Oh man, I am spreading gossip by the way is chapter four. And surprisingly enough, it rhymes with surprisingly enough is how it rhymes with its war. Ow. Guys, wait. episode here guys uh, I, I know it's been, it's been like two days long I was gonna say I know it's been a long time since I posted Metro uh, 2033 video it's been like two days uh, today was a sticks video so uh, yeah so as always I'm the game kill have seen you in the next video